And the move comes just a couple of weeks ahead of Earth Day. April, of course, a very big month for environmental awareness. But why is it so important that we care? Well, I spoke with some experts about the biggest threats to our local ecosystem, why this all matters, and how we can all help. It's around us and connects us. The roads in Hampton Roads. What we do in one place. There are several river systems that lead into the Chesapeake Bay. Is sure to affect our ecosystem downstream or downwind. This is where we live. There's nowhere else to go. And so it's up to us to keep it all clean. In April, I think all across the country, we're thinking about our environment, but I think in Hampton Roads, we can think about our waterways all year round. Christy Everett is the Hampton Roads Director for the Chesapeake Bay Foundation, an organization that restores, educates about, and advocates for the bay and the waterways that feed into it. Think about the value that they bring to our economy in Hampton Roads. Think about if you enjoy oysters or crab meat, uh, fish, those are all coming out of waters that have to be clean in order to support those populations. Clean the Bay Day is part of that effort. The foundation also works to recover the water filtering oyster population. But Everett says one of the biggest threats to the Bay comes from us. It's just too much nutrient pollution. A lot of times this time of year, people will be fertilizing their lawns. We would really suggest people minimize that fertilizer. Um, also to plant native plants. Native plants help absorb those excess nutrients. The battery is charged with solar. Sustainable is just how Christina Trapani tries to live her life. Her business Ecomaniac built on it. We specialize in alternatives to single use plastics, also plastic free alternatives. Then there's her organization Keep It Beachy Clean, doing just what the name suggests, sometimes even visiting remote beaches to pick up trash. Balloons and bottle caps are right at the top of the list of what we were finding out there. Trapani says that can be a problem for the animals that call this place home. The leatherback turtle loves to lunch on jellyfish, but they can't always tell the difference, she says, between a plastic bag and the real thing. It's very similar to what a balloon or a plastic bag might look like. Last year, she helped get a law signed banning balloon releases in Virginia. But Trapani is quick to point out, you don't have to change laws to make a difference. If you can avoid a single-use plastic item, plastic shopping bag, plastic utensils, plastic straws, there's lots of alternatives out there that are reusable and will last you a lifetime. Ensuring our world can last countless lifetimes. Nobody wants to live in a trash can, unless you're Oscar the Grouch. Right. right. <laughs> And if you want to learn more about sustainability, we actually have a great opportunity for you tomorrow. There's an Earth Day pop-up market. It's set up. It's going to be set up outside Coastal Edge at Pembroke Mall in Virginia Beach. That starts at noon, so lots of great products there. And also mark your calendars because the Chesapeake Bay Foundation's Clean the Bay Day is set for June 4th.